welcome back to another video guys um in this video i'm going to be talking about the mech and why the mech will surpass the dragon over time so um i'm going to start off with saying this that if you play osura the osura mech will never surpass the osura dragon and the reason that i say this is because um the murder shadow skill Increasing your attack by 10% for 7 seconds and being stackable will never be surpassed by the mech skill of lightning kill Doing just ignoring extra defense and giving you one combo point that one combo point is nice But it really doesn't add up for the extra damage you gain plus the, the one combo point doesn't really speed up your combo that much more um, it's like The one combo point only really matters when your kill zone kind of runs out because there's a sort little like one to two second downtime between one of your DAs, um, but yeah, it doesn't really. Um, did I don't see the mech ever surpassing the dragon realistically because of the murderous shadow skill at stacking attack. So with that out the way, I'm gonna now explain why the mech will over time become better and better and better and surpass the dragon. So I'm gonna start off with um, explaining uh, the evolve. The evolve will give you the um, lattice defense skill and when the skill is maxed um, damage received over 2.5 mil is reduced by 500,000 which um, helps with being, your mech being defensive um, the mech also gets the skill assault mode which um, it's basically like a shark battle for the dragon while on mech it gets 90% damage reduction for 15 seconds after taking damage for the first time the damage reduction wears off by 5% per second down to 50% and players shed 40% of the damage so um, it's a 50% damage reduction after a couple seconds. So 15 seconds is the initial, and then it goes down by 40% over the course of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40. I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. I'm too slow for that right now. Um, anyways, yeah, 50% and 40%. It's very similar to the shark metal. Like if you go into your warm up thingy and read the shark metal, the shark metal is it splits 50% of the damage between you and your dragon and it is 8.5% damage reduction while mounted every 10 seconds and it stacks up to 5 times so I'm going to do 8.5 um, times uh, hold on 8.5 times 5 which is 8.5 times 5 which is equal to 42.5 so the mech actually gets slightly higher damage reduction than the shark metal but the downside is that you have less HP, HP shared but there's no need to worry about that because you get the energy shell skill which gives you a shield of 12 mil um, HP, mech HP or mech shield, whatever you want to call it. And each hit of your mech cannon recovers for uh, 400,000 of that um, shield. And your mech cannon will slowly um, but surely get faster over time through the cooldowns um, as you upgrade your ranks. So yeah. Um, the, the mech will be very tanky on top of the fact that it just also gets more damage reduction than your dragon because of the skill improved protection while on me while mech HP is over 50% mech HP recovery is reduced by 50% and one more damage taken is reduced by 29% so what this means is your one amount damage reduction on your mech is 29% higher than on your dragon because the stat is the same stat on both of these however the mech is the only one that benefits from this skill because um, it's only on the mech and then there's also the below 50% the execute damage one where um, plan for crisis decreases mechs damage taken by 25% when HP is below 50% so your mech will honestly just have 20 25 to 30% more damage reduction base than your dragon will um, on top of that the mech has the arcane cannons which have the um, the the crystal cores to upgrade the nodes and the nodes all give insane damage bonuses like this one right here gives damage um, on mech against monsters or bosses increased by 5% for um, in 6 seconds so for 6 seconds you have a damage to boss increase then there's the um <clears throat> the 4% crit damage increase for every one marker detonated up to 12% which is also really good this one has the middle skill which um inflicts a 12 second burn on three targets each burn dealing um five percent of your attack per second <clears throat> and then there's the overclocked arms one which um after triggering the skill damage out on the mech is increased by two percent and i can clean its normal attack damage increased by 20 percent for 18 seconds and then there's the uh red one the max level one where it increases your um 
your cannon adds 2%. Uh, your cannon's normal attack adds 2% damage dealt on your mech up to 6%. So yeah, basically your mech is going to be insanely overpowered um, as you progress through the game. Um, I think a free-to-play will even be able to reach um, the level, this level, uh, rank 3. They get a couple lattice defense on all their things eventually over time because I haven't really bought any. I haven't bought any of the blue arcane components. I'm just very lucky with my drops. And because I'm very lucky with my drops, I was able to reach rank four on one of them already, or rank three on one of them already. And um, I have another one that's going to hit rank three as well soon. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to wrap it up here though. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys um, upgrade your mechs properly. Make sure to level up your mechs eventually if you have the silver stars for it. Unless you're Osser, you can kind of play a little a little bit different. But I think that if you're playing a Pyromancer, Frostweaver, um, Ranger, any class that really benefits from having your mech being really strong, um, I think that you should be focusing on upgrading your mech right now and trying to get it up to have the damage bonuses and reduction bonuses. That'll be just surpass your dragon. So yeah. Um, I'm going to head out now, guys. I think I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day, and enjoy.